Before we get started, I'll need to go over a few key phrases that you will need to understand through the course of this tutorial. An emulator is a device or a program used to play old games. In our case, it's going to be a program that plays ROM files of the game. A ROM is a digital version of the game that is read and played with using emulators. A clean ROM means the original game. There's been no hacking done to it, there's been no editing done to it. If you played that file in an emulator, you'd be playing the base game. Nothing more, nothing less. A hack is a combination of an IPS patch and a ROM file together to create a new game. Distributing full ROM versions of the game is illegal. Hackmakers have gotten around this by using IPS patches. An IPS patch can be applied to the base game and it alters it to create the hack. It is essentially a mod. An IPS patcher is a small simple program that is used to apply patches to ROMs to create ROM hacks. Now let's get started. Nowadays there are two different types of patch. There's the older IPS patch, and then there's the newer BPS patch. Now, this has a meaning when you're actually modding and hacking Super Mario World games, but as we're just playing them, we don't have to worry about it. Especially since the people at smwcentral.net went and made this new and improved IPS patcher called Floating IPS, or FLIPS. Now, I'm going to include a link to the zip file in the description below. Now, if we open it, we're going to see that there is uh, five different files in here. We only have to worry about one of them, and that's FLIPS.exe. Literally, the rest of these we can leave behind. We don't need it. So just go ahead and close that. And right here, it flips. It's a very small and simple program. I mean, literally, it has four buttons. And we only have to worry about one of them. And that is apply patch. So what we do is or either an IPS patch or a BPS patch. We just press apply patch. It'll open up a window for us to locate what file we want to use as a patch. Uh, let's start off with an IPS patch. So MGUI IPS. We click that, open it, and now it's asking us to navigate to a clean Super Mario World .smc file, which we also had on the desktop. We can see it right here. Uh, it shows up right here. Very simple. Select that. Open it. Now it's asking where we want to actually save the file. And we just go ahead and save it to our desktop. And right here, a patch was applied successfully. Now over, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll drag it over. We can see we now have a new .smc file, mgui.smc. This is the file we'll want to select when we run the, our emulator, which I'll show in a little bit. Now, if we want to apply a BPS patch, it is done in exactly the same manner. We have flip still open, so we just press apply patch. We select instead the BPS patch right here, open. Now we select the clean Super Mario World uh, game, or ROM rather, uh, which we can see right here. We don't want to select this file right here. This is our, this is the patched file. This is a Mario hack. We, that's different. This is our clean one right here open and then it's asking where we want to save which we'll just save to the desktop and patch was successfully applied and it's over here drag it over here and we can see boom there 
Let me go ahead and close our flips right now. We have um, two successfully patched games or Super Mario World hacks. Very simple, very quick, very easy. Now let's hop over to the emulator and I'll show you how to actually select these. Now, this is my favorite and arguably best Super Nintendo emulator out there called ZStess, and I'll include a link to this in the description as well. And now, in order to play your hack, all you need to do is navigate to game, load, and we'll need to navigate to where we have the file stored. Uh... Now, important note I'm going to make here is just because it took me a little while to figure this out is that these two little dots up here are the back buttons. They're like, this is the home. First of all, this is the directory. This is how you navigate around your computer. And these two little dots are the back buttons. Here are the files which are in the folder you're browsing. So let's just go ahead and back out all the way to uh, let's try to find my ah here you go desktop and we can see a couple of files here uh, we can see uh, the bin zip uh, clean Super Mario World and then we actually have our two hacks right here so MGUI this is our IPS patched hack we just double click on that and then we go. And just for proving that this all works, let's go ahead and load. And thankfully it'll bring us right back to our desktop. Let's go ahead and load our BPS patch. There we go. Loud, very loud. Sorry about that. That was a, that was a little too loud. Um, and all that's left is to configure your controls, and you're all good. So, like, just to show you where the control configuration is, if you go to config and you go to input, you can. Um, map your controls this way. I use a USB Super Nintendo controller and it I got it working that way. You can use any controller, um, but that's a different video for a different time if you are interested in me making that. But that is essentially how you patch IPS and or that's how you patch Super Mario World hack so you can play if you have any questions Go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I will well, I'll help you troubleshoot shoot and get any questions. I know how to answer answered and You know, maybe we'll figure out some stuff together That has been it if you enjoy this leave a thumbs up if you have any further questions about emulators or playing Super Mario World hacks, go ahead and leave them in the description or the comment section below and we'll see where this goes. Maybe there's some more videos you guys need some help with in the future, but this is finished for this video. I hope you guys have fun playing the literal thousands of hacks, uh, hours of hacks that people have created. I'll include a link in the description to Super Mario World, or sorry, smwcentral.net. That's where I get all my Mario hacks. They're clean, they're safe. I have not had any problems with them and I highly recommend them. They're a great community. Other than that, this has been Michael, also known as Laser Sniper. Uh, hope, uh, hope you guys have fun. Bye.